What is going on, everybody? I'm Captain Gibbs McGuire with Flyfish Rockport, and uh, I appreciate all of y'all watching these videos and, and giving us likes and subscribes. It, it helps us out a ton. Um, well, today I'm, I'm kind of filling some boxes right now, and um, so this is more of a summertime fly that I'm tying here. Um, it's an olive color, so it's 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 not aggressive. Um, when they're being a little more spooky, real clear water, uh, this is a great great fly for me um it doesn't blow their mind when they see it it's just subtle and and uh gets the job done it's just basically a kind of a redfish crack pattern um i like these these barred silly silly legs on there though um just kind of makes it look a little more shrimpy for me um but yeah i'll uh i'll show you guys how i tie it and uh, hopefully y'all can i can give it a try and, and check it out all right so I'm tying this on a, uh, a gamma, gamma hook, SC15, why not? Uh, the thread that I'm using is this, uh, this Vivas thread, F16 six dot. And uh, this Vivas thread is, is pretty unreal. It is, it is so strong. It's nice and thin, real thin diameter. So your wraps don't get too big on you but it's just insanely strong. It's great for saltwater flies. I know they have a lot of trout stuff too, so I guess it's great for trout also, but I've been liking it for our stuff. You really have to cinch down on it. All right, so for your tail, you're just using this, uh, this craft fur. This is just olive craft fur. Get yourself a nice little chunk on there. Pull off some of the body hairs. We don't want it to be too long, so I pull out some of those longer fibers. Just that tied on right off the back there. And then, so for our flash, what I'm using is this uh, dyed UV polar chenille in a brown UV. And it's nice because it's on a brush. So it just makes it super easy, super quick. Throw this on there out the bag. Wrapping, make sure you're pulling those fibers back. Just get that cinched down. Clean that up a bit. Some wraps on there, make sure it's all nice and tight. All right, I'm gonna add some eyes in up here. And again, this is summertime fly. There's grass. I don't want it to be too heavy. So this is just some, some bead chain eyes uh, from Sightcast Fishing. These kind of tan matte colored eyes. Again, I don't want this fly to be aggressive kind of neutral colored eyes. They look real nice on it. So, 
give yourself enough room because we're going to put a weed guard on here in a bit. Same thing, summertime, there's grass. You want that weed guard. So give yourself enough room up there at the eye. You don't need weed guards. A lot of times I just end up snipping them off out there anyways. Um, but never hurts to put it on there. onto the back again. All right, so we're gonna start building our body from here. So for our body, I'm using a tarantula brush, uh, a one inch tarantula brush. Uh, the color on this is just called Sculpin, but it's it's still kind of in our olive theme. It has some little brown, brown and olive legs coming out off of it. I already got one out here. So this stuff is pretty bushy. Um, so we're not gonna need a whole lot of wraps. Uh, two, three wraps at the most. I'll just kind of see, see where we're at. Just gonna loosen up all those fibers, get them all spread out. Start wrapping that. Same thing, pulling all your fibers back. See, it's already kind of getting real bushy, so I'm gonna do one more wrap. And you can spread these wraps out a little bit. Here I'm going to add our legs, these barred legs. And these are the round, just the round legs. But any 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 legs you got, put some. Make sure they're barred. Kind of look like shrimp legs in there. Just double those over. I'm just using two, and so there'll be four out the back. Lay those straight down the back. So then I'm going to change up the color a bit. So this is a uh, an EP brush also. It's called Shrimp Dub, 0.75 inch. And this is just tan. I like it that it's it's a smaller, smaller brush. So it's kind of just helps with the taper effect. I don't have to cut as much off the end to taper it all forward. And the different color just kind of adds adds different you know contrast and segmentation to the fly, make it a little more shrimpy looking. Grab those, pull them back. This really helps kind of cinch those down too. Help them kind of lay down a little more, not just flare out. Again, using your brush, picking all that out. Then you come in here, I'm gonna add the weed guard. I've already got one made up. Just 
just a 40 pound mono. Come back in here, hit it with a couple whip finishes. There it is. So then come back in, got that weed guard way too long. Go ahead and trim that down. Same thing, come back in with those legs, trim, give those a little trim. I like to make them a little different lengths, two a little longer, two a little shorter. haircut to like I was saying I wanted to kind of taper down to the head Nice summer, summertime redfish fly right there. Give it a shot, let me know what you think. If there's any other videos that y'all wanna check out, um, any other fly tie, any other you know flies that we tie, shoot us a comment, we'd be happy to tie them up. Having a good time doing these. All right guys, thanks a lot, I'll see y'all next time.